Hey investors, in this video, I'm going to talk about the performance and the portfolio holdings of my eToro fund. Let's take a look at how the portfolio has done year to date. My eToro fund is a fund that you can invest in. You need to open an account with eToro and you can just copy my entire portfolio. If you have been following my videos for over the last one and a half years and especially my project 1 million portfolio we are investing more than $250,000 right now and if you feel confident about my ability to pick good stocks and manage your money for the long term you can copy my eToro fund and let me invest for you now without further ado let's take a look at the performance Our goal for our fund is to beat the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ ETF. So before we just take a look at our performance, let's take a look at how the NASDAQ has done so far year to date. So the NASDAQ has done about 16.27% and the S&P 500 has done about minus 1.08%. This is how our fund has done so far this year. So we ended off June in positive territory and so far July has been a good month so far. Overall, we are doing about 19% plus for the year. And that's despite a very slow January. So I'm pretty happy with the performance so far. We are beating the S&P 500 by a wide margin and we are also beating the NASDAQ ETF. Next, let's take a look at our stock positions and let's discuss a little about them. So our current top position is Amazon at about 16.56%. Amazon has been on a very good run as a lot of investors are moving towards e-commerce stocks. And that's also a reason why Alibaba has performed very well in the last few weeks too and it has grown to become 11.43% of the portfolio. Both of these two stocks are also very strong in the cloud computing business and that is another very significant tailwind for both of these great businesses and so we are very comfortable with having them hold such big positions in the portfolio. Next up is Intuitive Surgical, which is the leader in robotic technology for surgery. Intuitive has been a slow performer this year as a lot of elective surgeries are being delayed due to the coronavirus pandemic. But these surgeries cannot be delayed indefinitely and sooner or later these surgeries will need to be performed. We think that Intuitive Surgical is poised for a good recovery in this second half of the year. It has been growing at high double digits for the last few years and we expect this trend to continue for the next few years as well. Moreover, as a leader in this field, it is very hard for competitors to catch up with it. Google and Facebook are leaders in digital advertising. We expect digital advertising to be a little volatile in the next few months. But nonetheless, these are very strong businesses and we are comfortable in holding them. Mastercard is a leader in the war on cash and we expect digital payments to actually be a beneficiary of the coronavirus pandemic. It hasn't performed as well this year because of the limitations in travel and it earns a lot of money from cross-border payments but we think as travel picks up uh, MasterCard is poised for a good recovery in the second half of this year. Adobe has already reported uh, results and those results were pretty good. Uh, this, this is despite the fact that the last quarter was through a very tough period 
uh, when the crisis was at its peak. But Adobe has a very strong mode in digital design as many people will continue to use its software products. Visa's position is very similar to MasterCard. PayPal has also been another beneficiary of the crisis and has gone on a very good run so far. Baozun is one of the leaders in e-commerce software in China and has performed very well for us as well. Autodesk is very similar to Adobe and is a leader in uh, digital design for the construction and manufacturing industries and we expect it to also do well in the long term. Microsoft is a leader in the cloud computing uh, segment along with Amazon and we expect Microsoft to continue to make a lot of gains in that industry. Recently, we added Beyond Meat to the portfolio. We are confident that Beyond Meat has a multi-year trend of growth. I personally tried the products and I think they are pretty decent. And moreover, I believe that the company is committed to continually improving its products so that it can close the gap with real meat in terms of both taste and also, more importantly, in terms of price. As the products become cheaper, they will become more uh, consumed by the masses. And that will be a good tailwind for Beyond Meat over the next few quarters and years. Booking and Boeing are still suffering from the decline in travel, but they are leaders in their respective industry. And so once travel comes back, we expect these companies to also recover significantly. Let us know what your thoughts are on this portfolio in the comments section. Currently, we have about 15 stocks in the portfolio. That's on the high side. We usually try to concentrate our portfolio into our best ideas. But I'm very comfortable with the companies we own currently at the respective allocations. As the economy continues to recover, I expect this portfolio to go even higher. We also write about the companies we own on the eToro platform. Recently, one of our posts was pinned by the administrators of the platform. So you can see that we have done a post here about why we invest in Beyond Meat. You, I'll post a link to this uh, write-up in the description below so you can check it out. Join us as a follower on our eToro profile so that you can keep up with all the latest write-ups that we do on the companies we own. If you would like to be a patron and a supporter of the channel, jump over to our Patreon website and you can subscribe to one of our membership levels. You can also gain personal access through me and also my immediate thoughts and actions in the stock market through Discord at about $5 per month. We look forward to seeing you on the Discord chat. So if you like what you saw in this video, uh, please uh, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not so for future updates. And if you like the, the general platform, the eToro platform, and you like the ability to copy good investors, I suggest you join the eToro platform. You can use my link in the description tab, and you can even get an extra $50 to start uh, trading. So, thank you for watching. I hope you took away some good uh, points from this video. I hope you stay with us on this journey, this long-term journey, and we'll see you in the next video.